When the ice freezes in the northern hemisphere, it is warning for long journey flights for birds. For survive, some birds will have to fly to the southern, where the availability of their food. Birds fly in specific directions. They can fly to the destination where they want to go without making any mistakes in their usual flyways. There are nine major flyways that birds fly every year in the world. The places that fall on these trails are vital for wintering birds. Nima is situated on the two major flyways. They are the Central Asian Flyway and the East Asian Australasian Flyway. There are six designated areas in Nima. They are Gulf of Motama. The Gulf of Motama is a, a very unique place. I don't think we have anything like this uh, in Asia anywhere else. It's a massive, maybe the largest uh, mudflat area in Southeast Asia. Moyunji Wetland Wildlife Sanctuary. Moyunji Wetland Wildlife Sanctuary was established in 1988 and designated as first Ramsar site of Myanmar in 2004. In 2014, it was announced that EAAFB fly with Nagwa site. Ely Lake Wildlife Sanctuary Lake Wildlife Sanctuary is located along the flyways of migratory birds. It was announced the designation as EAAP Flyway Network Site on February 2, 2020. There are not only migratory birds but also resident birds are present. Indoji Wildlife Sanctuary Indogi Wildlife Sanctuary and its watershed nearby was declared as Wildlife Sanctuary in 1999 and official designated as Wildlife Sanctuary in 2004. According to its unique landscape, it is also designated as ASEAN Heritage Park in Myanmar in 2003. As in Doggy Lake is situated on the East Asian Australasian Flyway. It was announced the designation as EAAF 118 in 2014 as well. Mimalajo Wildlife Sanctuary. Every year, the migratory birds are coming to Mimalakan Wildlife Sanctuary. Because we always protect not only resident and migrant birds but also their habitats. Wintering birds provide many benefits for ecosystem services by serving as seed dispersers. So, let biodiversity enrich more and more. Adjust and maintain the nutrients in wetlands. Moreover, present of aqua resources and bird-eating insects to reduce impact for agriculture. And Nanda Island Mayu Estuaries. Wintering birds have been facing threats in wintering grounds and inbreeding grounds along their flyways. The threats are climate changes, the threat of non-native species and loss of habitats, offshore oil spilling, hunting and poaching, usage of wind turbines, water pollution and plastic waste. So the conservation activities are needed for migratory birds. Bird species eats the insects which are very harmful to agricultural sector. 
by eating harmful insects, more benefits for crop products. So, I would like to encourage to participate in conservation activities, because protection of birds in protected areas are sustainable development. We conduct awareness and educational activities concerned to the birds. We also explain to the people how the birds are important and how we can serve them in details. When we explain to local people why we can serve the birds, we highlight that the birds can indicate the richness of marine resources. Bird migration is the regular seasonal movement and it gives some benefits like seasonal forecasting and measuring our natural resources. So by encouraging to participate in conservation of migratory birds, we are honored to World Migratory Bird Day mark on the 9th of May 2020.